Okay, hello. This is a drawing I did of, of a face, if you can't tell. And I'm going to do another one in this video. I wish I'd have filmed that one, to be honest, because I really like it, but I did it at my friend's house, so, you know, I'm not going to go take my camera around there. Anyway, so I talked to Pinterest, found a picture of a guy. And when I'm looking for pictures of people to, that I want to draw, what I'm looking for is someone at an interesting angle. So basically, not just a picture of someone directly from the front because it can look quite flat uh, and it's like quite difficult to make it look 3D but if you draw someone slightly from the side, hey, now it's looking 3D. So I just look on Pinterest for them. Oh, and it can be quite a little bit annoying on Pinterest because I, what I do to find the pictures, I just type in for, oh, portrait photography and you get a bunch of nice pictures of people but they're all like models and look perfect so I don't want to draw someone who looks perfect that's boring but like that's hard to come by on Pinterest everyone's a model on there and then it makes you feel all sad because it's like oh no I don't look like that and like sometimes I'll literally type in portrait photography of normal looking people but <laughs> it, it, I don't think it exists I don't think normal people exist on Pinterest um anyway after I've done the sketch I go to a mirror and look at it in the mirror and if it still looks decent and I think hey that's looking all right I'll go in and I'll properly shade it in and the point of the mirror is because here's a thing right if you're drawing something for quite a while and you're constantly looking at the same thing you start to become oblivious to the mistakes like the mistakes become harder to notice so if you look at it in a mirror and there are mistakes it makes it really noticeable and he let me tell you i've learned this the hard way because once i did a painting i spent ages on it i thought it was looking pretty good looked at it in the mirror couldn't believe it it was like a completely different painting it looked horrible and like i couldn't <laughs> couldn't really fix it because i'd done the eye and the the eye was way too low and the mouth was all wonky so a little lesson look at things in mirrors it really does help so this, wait, have, have I even said what this is for? I don't think I have. Uh, get your head in the game, come on. This is for my art class. And I'm not gonna lie, I was supposed to do this over the holidays and I may, I may have forgotten. So I was doing this the other week and I was supposed to do uh, like five sort of sketches. I mean, I call this a sketch, but <laughs> it took me ages. I always do that. They always like ask for a sketch or something and then I just kind of go a bit overboard and do like a full on drawing, not much of a sketch. Um, this is one of the five sketches, air quotes, you can't see, um, that I'm supposed to be doing. For art, which I should have done in the holidays, but stupid me forgot and was rushing to do them last week. And there you go, I'm done, I'm pretty happy with that. And then moving on, this is for graphics. And can you believe it? I actually am doing a landscape. I shocked myself, I can't believe it, I never do landscapes. I always just paint people, but my graphics teacher suggested that maybe I should do a landscape. And I was like, you know what? You're right, I'm gonna do one. Stop diddly dally, diddly diddly dallying, what's that saying? I don't know. Stop messing about and get that landscape done because you can't be painting people your whole life. Well, you could actually, but. <laughs> I, you know, I like to, to keep it fresh and do new things every now and then, so Yeah, and I'm really glad I am because I, I do like it. The landscape I'm painting is a picture that I took on holiday I don't know where I was. I can't really remember somewhere in England and I really liked it so I'm painting it. I think it's a nice picture. I like how there's a little bit of everything. You've got the water but you've also got the houses and then the trees and there's that nice bridge going across. Well it's not a bridge is it when it's got the 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 what's it called a vi viaduct. Hey I know I know some stuff I'm smart um, but it's still got a nice little sky section. It, it just had everything. It was a good good picture, if I don't say so myself. I'm trying to do it in the same style as this guy called Oliver Jeffers. I think in my last week of homework video, I was doing a page about him. And this is like the practical work I've got to do, which goes along with the research about him. So I'm doing it in the same style of, as him. He's uh, an illustrator slash he writes children's books and he illustrates them as well. I think his style is really nice. So I'm trying to take elements of his style and put it into the landscape I'm doing here. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I, I have news. Oh, things are exciting. I have, I'm progressing in the social medias. I have gotten myself an Instagram. Um, I know I, ha I have Snapchat but <laughs> I don't really use it. I used to use it and then I stopped for a bit and then I used it a bit again and then I stopped um, and now I haven't used it for ages uh, just because well my phone's not very great and trying to switch between my two Snapchat accounts takes ages so I just really can't be bothered but Instagram I've made one I'll put it right here on the screen big flashing letters where I'm gonna put all my art stuff on it I've put a few things on there already 
I've got about six pictures I think on there. So if you're interested in seeing what sort of stuff I get up to, it's all on that Instagram if you want to follow it. I'll try and keep it updated on like my Snapchat, which I abandoned. So sorry about that. If you do follow me on Snapchat, maybe one day I'll get back into it, but right now um, my phone's too pooey to handle Snapchat really. So maybe when I get a proper phone, I'll start using my Snapchat properly. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know, I'm not promising anything. Okay, so back to the painting. And I really did think about this, I thought about it a lot. I didn't just pick any colours willy nilly, right? I actually did think, okay, I did the blue trees so it would, because like blue and orange are like complementary colours, so it was like a nice contrast to the orange sort of water thing. And then I did purple because purple goes well with blue. And then I did the brown buildings because I just wanted a bit of a like, dull colour um, or else it'd be way too colourful, so you need the brown to sort of even everything out, I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I did think about it. What about the composition? I put this little sun that I'm painting now in the focal point, eh? I think about things. Um, hello! Mum just got home from work. <laughs> and there you go, I'm very happy with it. I hope you like the video, and uh, hopefully you follow me on Instagram maybe, if you want to. Hope you have a nice day, and goodbye.